Hey everybody, this is Jesus 2.3 coming at you. Hey, listen, um, I just sent a letter off to uh, the Morning Call in Allentown, Pennsylvania. It's one of their guest columns. They, they claim that they want these things. So I sent them one. I followed all the rules. It was timely. It was concise, exactly 700 words, which is what they asked for. And I sent it off to Mr. Robert Ornstein at the Morning Call and to their guest column. Now, earlier I would sent them another brief one. It wasn't the 700 letters or words. And uh, when I sent it off to them, they didn't like it. They said it was, it was personal and, and it, was, it was responding to somebody. So this one I didn't make personal. Now he says it's not concise for him, even though it's 700 words, just like they asked for. Listen, here, I'll make it very concise for you. What this is, it's about pulling levers, going into booths and pulling levers. Now, I like going to Amsterdam, and I've been in some booths, and I've had my lever pulled when I was in that booth. But we're talking about a different booth and different levers here. And the point of this non-point little article is that make sure you know whose lever you're pulling and why you're pulling the lever. Okay? So here goes. I'm going to read this out. Mind games can be mesmerizing. We play a mind game when we walk in the voting booth, believing there are only two choices to make. In reality, there are many positions that have multiple options. You don't always have to pull the same lever. The mind game is when you tell yourself that the others don't matter, and then you never pull their lever. After you leave the booth, you go about your business, and life goes on. My friends, I have been pulling a different lever all my life, and life goes on. In reality, nothing ever changes. I vote Libertarian because they are the only party that speaks to the voice of reason. The Democrats and Republicans all have their reasons, and the people who give them money certainly have their reasons. In the booth, we always have reasons to pull a lever. Many of those reasons are simply because we want to get what should be naturally ours as easy as possible. The Libertarian position understands this implicitly, but freedom is not as easy as pulling a lever. Now, two things should be readily apparent. The only two choice mind game and the reasoning mind game. Now, you do not realize that there is a third thing out there, but it's not a mind game. It's a party. Think of the libertarians as completing the trinity of parties. Everybody loves a party, and the more the merrier, at least in my mind. Not only do they complete this trinity of political partying, but in my mind, they are at the top of the heap. The Libertarians are the party of principle. Who wins the hearts and minds of the electorate has enormous significance, for they are the ones who get their levers pulled. After the election, life will go on as usual. Those trying to survive will keep struggling. Those wanting to get ahead keep leaving people behind. And those who are kind just try to do the best they can. The same thing will happen if you pull a Libertarian's lever. In reality, though, if enough libertarian levers get pulled, the other guys will be shocked. They probably still come to Harrisburg and continue to muck things up. Say la vie. We are at a historic crossroad. We must decide if we want to repeat it all again or try a little harder and making this land great again. For those who don't understand the libertarian position, let me explain it as such. Libertarians are communists. We know that when the people in our communities work hand in hand, real progress and human happiness will soon be at hand. Libertarians are socialists. We know that it is the people in society, working with communities, in all their manifestations, that creates the most happiness. We also know that society is not the state. The state is here simply to protect our right to freedom. We must be responsible for our happiness, when we are alone and when we are together. If you were to vote Libertarian, you would unleash a new political force. Yes, two-party competition has been a feature. It has even been said, THE feature. What does that mean? Of modern state politics. In reality, though, there isn't much of each of them with difference between the two. They might as well be one. The same money men provide each of them with money. Look closely and you will see that nobody is giving Libertarians money. There's a good reason for that. They want you to do your best with what you have. The last point bears some elaboration. The truth is, 
we are all trying the best that we can. When given the easy way out, we quite naturally make the choices that's easy. When you step into that booth, the lever you pull depends on what you think you need. In reality, you are pulling the lever thinking you'll get what you want. We don't always get what we want, but if you do it yourself, you get what you need. This, in essence, is the libertarian position. So why not pull their lever? I always do, and nothing bad has happened to me. Signed, Jesus 2.3